Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.college. In this video, we're going to go over the transform tool, including the new version in 2017.3. So to get started, I'm just going to create a cube. Just go to 3D object and cube. And you see right now I'm on the rotate tool. If you look up here, you can see the different options. So there's the translator move tool, the rotate tool, the scale tool, the rect tool for usually, usually used for UI stuff. And then there's also the new transform tool, and I'll show that in just a moment. First, I want to go over um, these different tools and how you can access them. So one thing a lot of people don't notice or know is that you can use Q, W, E, R, T, and Y to go right through these. So usually I'm using E and W. So E is the rotate, W is the move. Those are kind of the two that are switch between a lot. Uh, R also for scaling sometimes. So let's go to the move tool. You can see that you can move it on any axis. You can just grab the blue arrow to move here along the Z axis. If you look up here, you'll notice the values changing. Uh, the red is going to move on the X and then Y will move with the uh, green. You can also grab these little wall bars here to move across two different axes at the same time. Right, these these little panels. Now if I switch to rotate, same thing. You can rotate on the Y axis, uh, the X or the Z. You can also grab these little corner areas here and just kind of free rotate. Uh, it's a little bit less useful, I think, but it's nice to have, I guess. And then if we hit R and switch to the scale tool, or of course you can click up here, you see that we just can use these to scale in different directions. Now, these are all cool, useful. Um, using these hotkeys makes a big, big difference. But I want to jump over to T, or no, not T, Y, the new tool. So the new tool, if you look, it's got a little bit of everything mixed in. So let's reset this cube. And if you look here, you'll see that we've got the arrows. We also have the boxes from the scale tool and the rotate parts all in one. So here I can rotate it. I can move it around and I can scale it without changing tools. And this is pretty useful. Uh, I'd say most of the time now I'm trying to use this tool instead of the individual ones. On occasion though, I will still switch back and forth between the other ones if I'm you know, finding myself accidentally scaling something instead of dragging something. Um, but before we wrap this up, so you've got this functionality, I want to show one other really cool thing which is the vertex snapping. So I have this cube here. I'm going to duplicate it and move the second one out. And by the way, it's Control or Command D to duplicate whatever object is in here. Now, if I hold down V, let's see. So I got the object selected, hold V. You see that the cursor now is going over a different corner. What it's using is a vertex selection. So I can grab this actual corner right here, this vertex, and I can, if I'm holding V, I can snap it to different points. So you see I can snap it to these other vertices. And if I want to line things up and maybe make a set of staircases, you know, that perfectly match up, this is an easy, easy way to do that. So I can duplicate again, hit V, grab that, drag it down. And I, I think this is probably the one of the most useful things in here that people don't generally know about. Again, it's just V to switch to the vertex snapping, and then you can move these things all around. And one last tip for the new transform tool is that you can also hold down shift with your object selected to switch to screen space and move it actually in screen space or even rotate it just in screen space. So another little helpful thing. Uh, I can think of a couple situations where this would come in useful. So I hope this is a little bit helpful. Again, it's kind of an intro level video for the transform tool and the new transform stuff, I guess. Um, if, if it's useful for you, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, thanks for watching.